the tutorial this evening we're going to work on how you wear them. For my third tutorial, what we're going to work on is um, turning off the ropes effectively. It's a slightly different uh, technique used by um, it's adapted from something that Roberto Duran used to do uh, and also uh, a guy used to train Michael Gomez um, used to do this move quite a lot so I've just adapted it a little bit so When you get to one of the ropes it's, it's a really dangerous position to be in yeah? you, as a boxer you always want to try and keep your opponent as near to the ropes as possible because they're always going to be in a position where they're coming to you, you can dominate the exchanges, you can control the pace. So you, so, you, so when you hear about people talking about controlling the middle of the ring, often they, this is what they're talking about, they're, they're keeping their opponent on the outside under pressure. As soon as he gets there, um, if he tries to go that way, he squares himself up for the right hand, either to head or body, do it again, or, okay, and if he goes that way, he squares him up for the jab or do it again to the head, or do it again, up. So there's, a, there's different options that you can do depending on which way he moves. Okay, so the idea of, um, the idea of doing this uh, turn is to give you an, another option, a much safer option, okay? A lot of times when people get their opponents to the rope, um, they get a massive hard on and they start throwing massive big shots, yeah? So this means that you've got great opportunity to um, roll and slip punches. So what you're looking for is you're looking to try and get your head on the outside of either arm, yeah? He slips, he's outside of my arm, yeah? So right now, once he gets outside of my arm, he can do the movement, yeah? So what you, do, what you do is, as soon as he gets outside of my arm, so do the right one, he connects his head with my shoulder, okay? Then he puts his arm around my body, and then he uses his head to push me into the ropes, okay? And then gets his stance, and uh, lands shots. Right. It's very, very important when, when I roll the right hand. So I roll the right hand. If, I don't put, if I've got my head here and I put my arm around him, then he can turn and hook me. Yeah, that could be the end of the fight, yeah? Also, if I roll and don't put my arm around him, yeah, he can just turn off and shoot the shot. So you need both sides. You need, to, you need to secure him on both sides. So when I roll, the head secures his shoulder, the arm secures his hips, and then from here, I turn using my head, put him on the ropes. It's very, very hard to um, resist that movement because your head is super strong. And in fact, when I, when I roll the shot, roll the hips. Yeah, I could just use my head if he couldn't twist. Yeah, but your head's really, really strong. Right, so as you roll this punch, you step out, head goes onto the shoulder, arm goes around the body, using his head, pushing me around. Right. Where you can land shots, yeah? So I throw the shot, Alex steps out and rolls, head goes onto the shoulder, arm goes around the body, and he twists and turns. Um, puts himself in a great position to come back with shots. So I've gone from being here, where I had him in trouble and on the ropes, to being on the ropes myself. So I throw the left hook, Alex rolls, head goes into the shoulder, arm goes around the body, spins, turns, puts him in a great position, turns me again, yeah? Very hard to resist that turn, especially when he uses his head to make me turn around. So I throw my right hand, Alex rolls, head goes onto my shoulder, arm around my body, turns me onto the ropes. 